one of the women who testified against my son. I rode an elevator with her one time in the courthouse, down 14 stories, and she just stared at me. I looked straight ahead, and she looked at me, and the elevator went down one floor at a time. I could still see the scars from the cosmetic surgeries out of the corner of my eye. I promise you, there ain't nothing she could have done that would have made me feel any worse than her just watching me all the way down, not saying a word. I'm the kind of person who leaves the TV on at night just to stop the silence. I wanted to fall down on my knees and tell her I'm sorry for what he'd done to you, for bringing him into this world for failing to raise him right. I saw pictures of her in the courtroom. Broken jaw. Black and purple. Swollen face. Like she'd been in some kind of a tragic accident. Then I realized my son is the tragedy. A walking, breathing tragedy. And I'm another one of his victims. I wanted to tell her everything he'd done to you on the outside. he done to me on the inside. These women he done it to. They have the small consolation of being able to hate him. But I'm still tied to love. I can still see him in his crib. Bent over a birthday cake. Looking up at me in the middle of the night, sweating, sick with flu. Then I see that same face hovering over some terrified, helpless woman. 